Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, with just 74 days until the 29th of March, the consequences of voting against this deal tomorrow are becoming ever clearer. With no deal, we would have no implementation period, no security partnership, no guarantees for UK citizens overseas, and no certainty for businesses and workers like those I met in Stoke this morning. And we would see changes to everyday life in Northern Ireland that would put the future of our union at risk. And if, rather than leaving with no deal, this House blocked Brexit, that would be a subversion of our democracy, saying to the people saying to the people we were elected to serve that we were unwilling to do what they had instructed. So I say to members on all sides of this House, whatever you may have previously concluded, over these next 24 hours, give this deal a second look. No, it is not perfect, and yes, it is a compromise. But when the history books are written, people will look at the decision... People... People will look... People will look at the decision of this House tomorrow and ask, did we deliver on the country's vote to leave the European Union? Did we safeguard our economy, our security and our union? Or did we let the British people down? I say, I say we should deliver for the British people and get on with building a brighter future for our country by backing this deal tomorrow and I commend this statement to the House.